Hey coach, how's your coaching going? Great to see you again in iCoach Kids. In the previous videos, we had a look at the idea of inclusion in sport. We saw what it means and how we can create inclusive sport opportunities for a whole range of diverse participants. In the next two videos, we're going to focus on how to create and deliver inclusive activities that allow all involved to experience success, improve, and joy participation. It's important to understand that the principles and ideas we are going to cover are not only applicable to participants with a disability, but very useful to ensure that all participants, regardless of the level of ability, can thrive. These videos are thus recommended for all coaches, not only those in disability sport. We are very fortunate that the content for these videos has been developed by Ken Black, founding director of the Inclusion Club. Ken is one of the most influential authors and thinkers of the last 30 years in this field. Thanks, Ken. One of Ken's biggest contributions to this field is the Inclusion Spectrum Framework, which he developed with his colleague Pamela Stevenson. The Inclusion Spectrum is an activity-centered approach to the inclusion of young people of all abilities in sport. Inclusion can be achieved by changing the way in which the activity is presented by providing coaches and volunteers with different methods of supporting inclusion. The inclusion spectrum consists of five different but complementary approaches to the organization of physical activity. This gives coaches different options when considering the varied needs of their athletes at any level. For every situation, the most appropriate level of inclusion can be selected depending upon factors like the composition of the group, the nature of the activity, the environment, for example, indoor or outdoor sport, the available equipment, and the number of coaches present. The inclusion spectrum framework consists of five activity types. One, open activity. Two, modified activity. Three, parallel activity. Four, separate activity. And five, disability sport activity. Let's go through them one by one. In open activities, everyone does the same activity with minimal or no adaptations to the environment or equipment. Open activities are by their nature inclusive so that the activity suits every participant. For example, warm-up or cool-down activities enable every participant to engage in the way that suits their abilities. Other possibilities include cooperative and unstructured movement games such as unstructured play, collecting or gathering games, parachute or play canopy games, and action songs are music or rhythm-based activities. In modified activity, everyone participates in the same activity, but the space, rules, equipment, or the way that players interact are adapted to promote inclusion regardless of individual abilities. For example, playing basketball with a variety of targets, such as a lower basket, a hoop tape to the wall, or a box on the floor, so that participants choose the score in the target more suited to their ability. Or you can balance an activity between mobility impaired and non-disabled participants by restricting the space available to the more agile partner. A simple adaptation tool that can aid modification in any part of the spectrum is the STEP model. This acronym represents elements of activities we can modify to make them more inclusive, like the space, the task, the equipment, and people. We will cover the step model in detail in the next video. Okay, so in parallel activity, although participants follow a common activity theme, they do so at their own pace and level by working in groups based on their abilities. For example, two groups can play a seated and standing version of a game, and participants play the version most suited to their abilities. Or, Players in a volleyball game can be divided into three groups. 
playing with no barrier, playing with a low net, or playing with a net at regulation height. The separate activity approach emphasizes that, on occasions, it may be better for a young person to practice sports individually or with peers of a similar ability. For example, it may be more effective to withdraw an individual in order to practice individual sports skills to enable then successful reintegration into a game situation with the rest of the group at a later stage. Finally, including disability sport activities can be seen as reverse integration where non-disabled young people are included in disability sports together with disabled peers. For example, using the Paralympic sports of goalball, boccia or sitting volleyball as a basis for an inclusive game. That's it, coach. That was the Inclusion Spectrum Framework. It will help you create and deliver inclusive activities where all participants can thrive. Remember that the principles are not restricted to assisting the inclusion of young people who have special needs or a disability, but that it can be used to provide opportunities at appropriate levels for all participants. Thanks for watching and please move on to the next video, where we will explore the STEP model in detail. Keep calm and coach on!